everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video I'm finally getting around to film. It's how I revised my GCSEs. So a lot of you are actually asking for this video how I got nines in my sciences and things. So I'm going to film them all today. I'm actually going to start with sciences and I'm going to do them like collectively because I used the same kind of layout for each science. I actually got nine in all nines in all of my sciences. If you find this useful then definitely comment down below um because i'll make more for like jog i can do them for any subjects if you comment them down below i've still got i have burnt some of my revision <laughs> but i try to keep most of it so i can do like maths and things like that if you want the thing i did was actually write notes so i had the i insert some clips here but i have the um aqa revision and workbooks in one so you could choose between the revision the textbooks or the, com the combination one which I found most useful because it had the revision notes already condensed because I was not going to read through and make notes on the whole textbook um so I did the revision the like revision and I went through each book and each page and condensed it and wrote it into each of my own notebooks um so that it was in like a way that I could understand it back of the workbook there was um, like practice exam papers which were good because I was on the new syllabus these are the ones that were most similar to the exams the questions that I were going to be that I was going to be getting so I also did those ones too so I had three books um revision books so one for each science chemistry so I literally I just wrote the name of them in there and I put little tabs between each topic and then tabs here between paper this was like all for paper one and then this was all for paper two just went through them all condensed all of the notes um highlighted key bits Ooh, tough falling out um condensed key bits did diagrams so you can kind of see here so this is going into paper two yeah these took like the majority of the time yeah these actually took probably hours and hours and looking back it seems so weird to think that I spent this much time on making notes because now I like don't really need to know any of it because I didn't take it for A level. I've had like key points and I like to condense things into bullet points because that's how I find it easier. I can't have like big chunks of um, work in. Equations in different colours. Had physics so again we've got all of the same going through all of it like de key definitions in de different colours, each topics, obviously biology as well. And again, I just did the same. So it's the ki kind of same layout. And it meant that I could go back, revise the key main parts of it. And I knew where everything was as well because of the little subtopics. Yeah, it's just weird. That's all I can say really. I just went through the textbook, um, the revision book, and then condensed the notes from there. So that's how I got all of these. We've got like diagrams of like the eye and things just to make things easier. So because of obviously you have the required practicals as well. Revision with me videos show how I did it. But I went through again the textbook as the free science guy lessons. His were really useful. I used to watch them anytime. So if I was getting ready, doing my makeup before I went out somewhere, I literally watched them because they were only like five minutes long. I just watched them on the go whenever I could and it just kept things like ticking and yeah instead of just doing my makeup and wait like just doing that I watched them in the background and it kind of just meant that I was making use of my time yeah I also made all of these required practicals um on different color papers for each different topic that we did so I had each of these so with a diagram the key points the variables issues with it like problems with the investigation if you got asked a question right how could they change it all of those so i had them for every single science as well um they were all in a folder but i took them out but yeah we've got like the graphs and the results on there as well and that made it easy because if i wanted to revise required practicals i went to the required practicals folder and looked through it and revised them all for each science and then after I did the exam, I took them out of the folder and it made it go down and down and down. <laughs> so yeah, we have like paper chromatography. Those are like all of them, all on these individual sheets. So I never put them in my books. I just put them on these sheets to keep them separate. 
I've just found like loads more of those as well. These took a while as well, but again, I, as I said, if you want to look at the revision with me, there were I was doing these then. So this was mainly just physics because there's a lot of equations that you needed to learn. I actually put them all on post-it notes, every single equation and the units for them, and then I just literally I wrapped it in like sellotape. So this was paper one, and then I had one for paper two equations, and I stuck these on my wall. I stuck it on the back of the toilet door like I didn't like technically <laughs> I didn't actually make much use out of them I these were helpful but on the back of the toilet door my like family would be like why are there these equations on the back of the toilet door I was like I need to know them and it was actually quite helpful there's like the similar the simple formula down here the long formula and then in the red there was the different equations so I had a few of these dotted around that I'd photocopied and things if I had just like an hour in school I would just like make one piece of paper of like just everything condensed onto like one topic on one sheet of paper and it meant that everything was kind of condensed with the main points so this one was for a rate of reaction so I really don't like posters but it, it like it just meant that I was getting everything out of my head and onto a piece of paper so we had like the rate of reactions and like the different types of graphs and things and that just like was a quick revision to just get everything on one bit of paper um, and that was mainly what I did at school if I had revision time. A ton more required practical sheets. <laughs> First thing that I did for sciences really was I did a ton of practice questions because obviously it was the new specification that many questions to go against school posted on like a google classroom all of different practice questions and it was actually really helpful and i basically did every single question they posted so for all three sciences i did all of these questions which is a ton of questions to do and i also have got like old papers here for sciences there's literally so many different practice questions that i did so i've done older like old spec because some of the stuff still goes with the new spec so i had older spec and then i had like topic by topic breakdown of questions for each different topic so we've got like organic chemistry chemical analysis chemistry of the atmosphere um, and then for biology we've got like inheritance all in one booklet practice old paper biology tests and I would go through them do them I didn't do it timed or anything and then I used to correct them so I corrected with green pen and I added things and a lot of the questions actually overlapped which meant every time familiar questions kept coming up I just remember printing all of these like oh my and I kept all of these in one folder so all three sciences in one folder which was just practice questions so yeah that was all of the practice questions I did which looking back on it now was a lot but at the time I actually preferred doing practice questions to just reading my notes I did all my notes and then I did these as well or sometimes I did them alongside each other just to like have some like notes um writing down notes and then sometimes I had practicing what I just written down so I had this it's so heavy it's such a ton of stuff I actually can't believe I did this but honestly it's worth it because I feel like practice questions are the way to go like once you've got your base knowledge I would go into practice questions because I feel like that's the easiest way and you get to familiar with the mark schemes my main thing for science is really like I did like odd flash cards here and there and um, so these I also use some of my notes from like when I made them in like year nine and things when you had to make revision for like tests then like these were like flashcards I did them and they just condense things onto flashcards that was what I did to revise for my sciences I didn't actually start my revision that early it was a bit of an issue really because a lot of people had started in like December but I had I you know like Easter holidays I had started after Easter holidays pretty much like I did a few bits throughout Easter but then afterwards I really got into it another thing that I would recommend across all of mine was an app called my study plan and you wrote in when your t um, exams were in and then you wrote how much you want to spend on each subject and it gives you a timetable of what to revise each night and you time it and it gives you breaks and you can stop and start it and it kind of keeps track of everything that you did and the time you spent on each subject so that's what I used as well it, some more here like some more flashcards as well 
um, for chemistry. So that was how I revised my sciences. The things I used overall were the revision and workbook books and I condensed notes from them and did practice questions and that's the main way that I revised my sciences and that's how I got mines in sciences. I hope that was helpful. I hope it gave you some ideas. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.